Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and today we are at the Feed Store Antiques in Parrish, Florida. I am down here visiting Melissa and Barry, and I think I'm going to take a quick run down the street to see what this store is about. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm bringing you with me. how the video audio is going to be but i'm going to show you as much of this store as i possibly can amazing this is probably one of my favorite stores and i'm just in the door but you can tell when it's going to be a good one all right so help me stay focused i'm going to be purchasing smalls so that i can fit them in my suitcase i have about a quarter of my suitcase available oh my gosh look at the whippet dog that is just everything beautiful 225 that is gorgeous art deco uh, i just want everything immediately look at the tile guys with the parrots 250 so generally items in cases are going to have more value and they're going to be smaller so they do that to protect them look at this art deco what does that say brands i thought it said bronze but it does not 250 so beautiful just gorgeous look at the turtle all right most likely i won't be purchasing things in the cases so we're not going to spend too much time on the cases but i did want to show you the quality look at the hand carved natural marine jasper frog wow antique places are great too to visit even if you don't plan on buying that way you learn quality look at the little is it a squirrel or a rabbit oh man all right on the other side is a painting i fell in love with before i was even in the door i can't help myself i think that says let's see what the tag says roy nichols painting 180 that's an original. That is stunning. I would have liked it better if he wasn't in the painting. I think it's a self-portrait, but just phenomenal. All right. Like I said, lots of cases. There's some boots up there. But we're going to make our way to the open area. There is Melissa filming. She's getting a few shots in too. Okay, so if we find something, if, when we find something, we're going to be putting it on this shelf here. Oh, that's cute. Somebody got that already. Four dollars. All right. Hey, I'm filming you filming me. I know. I was <laughs> filming you. <laughs> All right. Bronze statue, four ninety-five. Oh, I need smalls. I need littles. Beautiful creamer and sugar ball, probably in Limoges. Stunning. Tribal face mask. Lots of beautiful artwork. All right, we're going to be moving a little bit out of clip because I do want to find things to actually purchase. Keep your eyes open for $20 and under in smalls. That's what we're looking for. Are you telling me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out. Help the girl out. I know. Look at all these things. Look at all. Oh, don't you want it all? Imagine making a piece of art with that. Oh. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? It would. I would not want that. Oh, the alligator is stunning. Look at the gold glass tree. You need this for your house. It's only twelve dollars. <laughs> she says no. All right, I'm, I'm going this way, guys. Meet you on the other side. Great. I'll take it. Thanks. Yeah.
Okay, stop the video. So at this point, I'm starting to see things that I want to look at, but there are other people looking in this booth and the booth was a little bit small. So I make note of the location and we will definitely circle back to take a look at what's on the shelves in this booth. Okay, this place is quite crowded and I can see why. Lots of shoppers. Today is Saturday, so it is the Saturday before Christmas. How stunningly beautiful. Oh, I'm so mad I don't live here. Little test tubes, ornaments, test tube ornaments. Somebody made those. That is quite unique. I've never seen that before. Okay, seashells to be expected. This is a very fun booth. Look at these little, little figurines. How sweet, putting on their boots. $5, it's an elf, so cute. Look at that piece of glass, is that Murano? That is stunning, I'm trying to see how much that is, 175. <sighs> I love this, absolutely love this, 150. Okay, gotta stop looking in cases. And no breakables. Oh, look at all the head vases with the eyelashes. Beautiful condition. Oh, they're beautiful. 45 for the woman with the hat. 50. Just stunning. There's a plastic scent I like. $30 with the reindeer. This is uh, Royal Albert here, Old Country Roses. These are quite common now in the home stores, TJ Maxx and the such home goods. Oh, the frog is sweet. <laughs> what is this frog about? He's $12, he's a figurine. Oh, look at this signed 1993. I don't know how to say that, Boyros? Pink Calanite Aphrodite. Aphrodite, probably. Sixty, I think that's a Murano fish. Okay, where are these people getting all of this wonderful, wonderful inventory? <gasps> a wood box. Look at the wood on that. Oh, look at these two guys in a boat trying to see what they want for him. $18. That's not bad. Two little elves or gnomes. Here's a glass case that is open. And then I noticed vendor number four is 90% off. So that's very interesting. I see a few pottery pieces I really like. First, I think even though this has a very scant chip on the edge, I love black pottery. I think black pottery is really trending now. The trend is staying strong. Let's see if I can find a price tag. Oh, my finger is touching it. Let's see what this one is going for. $38 Mexican pottery. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm, I guess I'm going to have to ship home for myself. We'll have to see, see about that later, but look how beautiful that is. And truth be told, I wouldn't mind keeping it. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one. I see another piece of pottery further up. I'm gonna see if I can slide the doors very carefully. It's another oxen. I'm very into the wood animals later, but it's that piece back there that's capturing my eye. It does have quite the crackle glaze going on. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that one forward. Let's move things around a little bit. I'm gonna set that right there. What is this? It feels newer in the hand. Yeah, it's contemporary. Darn. Kind of interesting. Not as good as the black one. Okay, so this one's $28. It does have a name to it. Oh, it just says Asian vase. All right, we're going to leave that one. It's another 90% off booth. Oh, I like this vase. This is beautiful. Let's see if I can pull this one out. Asian food jar, $30. 
Okay, it has Asian writing on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one behind. I would have liked this shape very much if it didn't have any kind of, you know, decorative finishing touches on it. All right, I'm very happy with my black pot. I'm gonna grab that and put that up front. Nothing like open shelves with lots of figurines and statues. Beautiful. A lot of birds, owls, fish. This guy's catching my attention. Five dollars, owl on a rock. I don't know what kind of rock this is. Let me hold this better for you guys. I'm filming on my phone, so it's gonna look a little bit different today. I think that might be Jasper, the stone. Not sure, but for five dollars, I really like this. So we're gonna go ahead and take him. What else do we see? I see a lot of these jars in um, thrift stores. So we're going to wait on, I'm going to keep my owl there. I am taking him. What is this box here? This is camel bone trinket box. Oh, get out of camel bone. That is kind of cool. Look at that. How do they know it's camel bone? There's a frog. Looks like it might be made in Asia somewhere just has that look to it. It is Unique Frog Philippines. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up my little owl before I forget him. He'll fit in my suitcase, so that's a good thing. Oh, look at the deer. Ugh, Rosenthal porcelain doe and fawn, 130 something, it's covered up. That is just beautiful. Oh, I like this pink flamingo. I wonder if I can open this case. No, it's locked. Darn. If they have locked cases, I wish they would at least put the price tag, you know, facing so you can see the price on it. But we're going to have to leave that one behind. I don't have time to have the case open. All right, let's set our figurine here. Let's take a look at these cats. These are cool. Look at that. It looks like cloisonne. All right, so the pair of the Cloisonne cats, $32. I don't think he's running a sale, unfortunately. I do like the wired face. Like, he really looks like he's, you know, just very starey-eyed. Okay, we are back in the same booth that I was filming in. Other shoppers came in. I always try to, you know, give a little space. Hand-painted parish, so that's a parish ball. That's beautiful. There was something else capturing my attention. I always say this, this basket, if you guys remember, I had a tray like this that I had found in a Goodwill. It wasn't as simple as this. The tray was more ornate, but I love this basket. Let's take a look at what the basket is going for. $14. That is really nice. I'm gonna give that thought. Do I want that basket? All right, let's pause the video again. At this point, I don't realize that the items in booth number six are 50% off. If I would have realized that sooner on in the shopping trip, I think I would have too much to bring on the plane. But this basket winds up being half price. And when I realize that, it is an absolute yes. All right, let's keep going. It's light to ship home, so that is very good. What would I sell this for? I would have to get like 28 to make it worth it. Maybe even a little bit higher. I don't know who's making it, but it does appear to be vintage. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Something's telling me I should take it. All right, look at that big bowl. All good stuff. Wow, that's cool. Large artist ceramic bowl. <sighs> Somebody made that, what? Oh, the painting is beautiful. Don't see a price on it, lovely. Okay. We might just briefly browse through a few more booths. I can't show you the whole thing because the place is stunningly big. Yeah, look at that pottery. Oh, I wish I could bring that on the plane, $75. Jose Sessa, pottery vase. That is beautiful. I do want that one. All right, is there any, oh, 50% off, no. 
What? All right, let's put the basket down and see if I can grab the vase. Okay, this vendor has 50% off all items for vendor number six. I didn't even realize it. The signs are right in front of me. I'm so busy looking at all of the good stuff. So that means our basket is 50% off. I am thrilled. I'm definitely grabbing this. And I think I'm going to grab the Jose Sessa vase. Look at this. So beautiful. So this one is marked 75. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna worry about how I get it home later on, but we're gonna go ahead and take this vase. One piece missing. I've sold these before. I think I sold one for $35. And what are they? Um, it's a puzzle. Oh. They're collectible puzzles by an artist called Sandy Miller. I'm pretty sure mom is a little bigger, but they're circular puzzles. How do we know all the pieces are in there? It's not. Somebody oh. penciled in one piece missing. One edge piece. Okay, so what do they want for it to 50% off? Uh, $5. Mm, but mm. a piece is missing. I know. That bothers me. You can cut <laughs> it out and make it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got time for that. Oh. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is so beautiful. Booth 99. So this is not number six. It says vendor, vendor number six. six. So where is the six? Austrian Booth glass bowl. Six. Is that not booth six? Booth 99. Booth six, booth six. Did somebody just put that there? I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's a trick. Because there's a lot of booth six. Okay. Oh, I have some booth 99, so maybe it's... Oh, so I better look at the booth. other pieces I put up front because they might not be 50% off. I do love that, though. Do you need one key? Mm, for one roller skate? No. No idea. All right, let me go up front and see. Oh, I do love this clay piece here. How much is this? I don't need the sticks. Can you pull that? Cup, number six, $12. Okay, so that would be six. Oh, who is that? Pottery, somebody, something pottery. I don't know. Okay, I'll take that for six. Do I, I don't need the sticks though. Should I tell them to? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm really hoping that that big vase is is a number six. Okay, I think this is where we started, isn't it? I have not seen half the place. They sewed that on. I know. Somebody made it. It's very itchy. <laughs> it's very itchy. All right, I'm going to make my way back up front, and we're just going to have to do the rest of this another day because I think we are good to go. So guys, this is what the rest of this looks like. There's just rows upon rows of items. Beautiful. All right, maybe we'll come back another day. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Here is another episode of High Profit Thrift Finds. I wanted to end the year with taking a quick look at 20 of some of my most favorite finds. These might be items that you've seen in my Instagram. A lot of times I report back to you guys on what the items that I showed finding in my YouTube videos, what they actually sold through on eBay. So let's get started. This first item is a vintage bathing suit, swimsuit, $199.99. I always test the elastic in these suits to make sure it doesn't have dry rot. Doesn't mean you can't sell it if it does, but it commands a higher price if the swimsuit is in very good condition. Next up is the nativity. All of you, I hear a collective gasp that I did sell it. You guys know you, girl. I'm going to sell anything not tied down. $179.50, and I hope the buyers love it as much as I did. All right, next up is a piece that I looked at, and it was sitting on the shelf, and I think I was in conversation with Roger, and then all of a sudden I was like, what am I looking at? This is an Ikebana vase. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Ikebana, Ikebana, $95.99 nonetheless, and I was thrilled to find this. I think I paid $4.99. All right, here is a wool blanket. I think I did show this on Instagram. And this is Alicia Adams. This is alpaca wool stripe blanket. Anytime I see a fabric content tag with alpaca written on it, I almost always scoop it up. $89.50. Here is the doll that I was waiting for her to sell. She's a very special doll. She has two different color eyes. I did accept an offer of $100 and she has shipped out. 
Next up is the vintage gorgeous dress. I did show this, I think, on YouTube and Instagram because I felt this was really special. $150, just stunning. It reminded me of the crystal character in the popular show that was called Dynasty. Okay, these jeans, I'm not sure if this is just said JNCO or Jenko. I've always called them Jenko. That's probably wrong. Anyway, $149.99. Here is a lampshade. I sell a ton of lampshades, $74.50, just gorgeous with a feather trim. Here is an item, you guys know me, I'm all about the wood. I love beautiful wood, $124.50, and this was signed by the artist. Here is just some linens. I really like these because they were Dean Miller, but even more so that they had that woody station wagon print with the surfboards and the Hawaiian uh, hibiscus flowers, I think it is, $139. And these were twin sheets and a duvet set. Okay, I just picked this up. You guys just saw this. I got it listed right before I flew out to Florida. That's where I am now, helping Melissa and Barry out. If you don't know, my daughter Melissa broke her foot and at the same time Barry was having surgery and is recuperating. So I flew out quickly last Wednesday and I'm staying for a week. I will be home soon and of course my videos will all be on time. This little croc sold for a hundred dollars. It doesn't get any cuter than this. This is Helenberg for Salmon Falls. All right, the Christmas ornaments. I showed finding these at Roots Flea Market. I bought a box of them, a large box. I think I had 14 boxes of them. All together, I've sold them for well over $1,000 and I paid 100. So this is just one set of them. These went for close to $100 just for this set. Here is a down jacket, L.L. Bean. I love L.L. Bean. It always does well for me, especially if it is a vintage L.L. Bean, $94. Here is the Santa head vase. I went back and forth, again, Roots Flea Market. I believe the vendor said, give me five bucks for it. Here he is, $55. I was a little bit nervous to ship this one, but he got there safely. All right, a menorah. I have a soft spot for menorahs. I'm not quite sure. I don't celebrate Hanukkah, but I think they're just gorgeous. $81.50. This one was solid brass. Here is a robe. This is Pottery Barn. Now, most of the robes that I sell are the vintage ones, the velour ones, but this one I got at a very good price. In fact, I think I got four of these in total, $69, and I believe this is pre-owned. Okay, a cat sweater. Do we love a good cat? Yes, we do. $55. This is the Quacker Factory. Here is an iron horse I just picked up. Where did I get this iron horse? Leave a comment down below if you remember where I picked this up. I can't even remember. $53.75. Here are three pairs of pants that I'm showing because this is Blair. I don't know any other reseller picking up Blair. These were in very good condition. They're corduroy in 3X, and I picked them up either on $2 Tuesday, so that would have meant that I paid $6 for the three, or I paid $4.99. So somewhere between $6 and $15, nonetheless, they sold for $49.50. And here is the last item, item number 20. This was my thumbnail. I found a vintage Snoopy blow mold. I think he was vintage, 2010. I don't remember, I'd have to go back and look. I sold him. Here he is next to a water bottle to show on the scale. And the last picture is him in my antique booth and he sold while I'm here in Florida. I think he sold for $185. I don't remember the price I put on him, but he did sell, so I was very happy. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. Happy New Year to everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. And as always, go out and get what's yours.